Hello everyone, today we're going to calibrate our PSIN202 stainless steel LCD indicator. This indicator also comes in LED. We also carry smaller sizes as well. Now the first thing you want to do is flip the indicator over. There are few screws that you need to remove. I've removed three here and there's the calibration switch. Go ahead and flip that calibration switch to the opposite side. In this case it's going to go up and there is the power button covered with a plastic. Now I want to show you guys what it looks like when you turn it on. Okay, so once you do turn it on it goes to P1. P1 is capacity of the scale. We're going to press 0. That's already preset at 10,000 in this indicator but we're going to change that. So we'll go down to let's say 5,000 pounds. And you could do so with tear and you could go up with the print the print option. So we'll go to 5,000 pounds. Okay, once you have um, got there, you do have the five in the front, you could move the decimal with zero. In this case, 50, 500, and 5,000. Once you're there, you'll press net or gross. There's also uh, it says set at the bottom of the button. Okay, you'll go back with unit and you will go to P1. From here you will go up to P2 with the print option. Press 0 to enter and it will give you 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 1 pounds. We're going to set up at 1 pounds. Press net gross to save and press unit to go back. Now from here, you will go up to P10. There are five parameters, P1, P2, P10, 11, and 12. So we'll go up to P10, and these are the steps for calibration. Press 0 to enter. It will give you option to calibrate in pounds or kg. We'll choose pounds and press net gross. Press the unit button to go back. Enter P11. With printer, with print up button here, press zero to enter, and this is the internal reading of the scale. Now it looks pretty stable. If you do see a negative sign here, um, usually it's not a good thing. It means that there's a shortage somewhere, or your cables could be bad, or um, it could be um, either even a bad load cell. So once you do that, when you do see that, um, press net gross. Okay take you back to P11 and you would go up to P12 from here. Once you're there, press 0 to enter. Okay, so this area or this parameter is basically um, the calibration side of it which you would need to add weight. In this case I have 100 pounds that I'm going to be using, 250 pounders. So we'll set it up at 100 pounds. It is important to put the right amount of weight and you know to be as close or you know, exact weight if you could do it, um, and if you do have dumbbells or calibration weights, whatever you set the scale at, that's what it's going to read by. So if we tell it it's 100 pounds and we're at that weight, that's what it recognizes. And higher weight um, are even better, you will be setting higher frequencies. So we're going to leave that and we're going to add the weight. pounds and 100 pounds. Once you have done so, go ahead and press net or gross to save. Okay, I'll give you a set of zeros again and we'll press net. So once you have done that, it will take you back to P12 without turning off the indicator or taking the weight off. Go ahead and flip the calibration switch back to normal. Once you do that, it would do a countdown and show zero. So now if I were to remove um, one of the calibration weights, it should give me negative 50. Second calibration weight and show me negative 100. You could zero it out just to test the scale to see what it reads. If you were to add the weight back on, it looks good. 
everything is calibrated. If you have any questions, you could always email us or give us a call. Thanks so much and have a great day.